Alrighty folks, we made it to Saturday, the weekend. Hopefully you guys had a great week. Uh, if this is your first time here, welcome. This is Train Enable, where we go over all things fitness and fitness related. I'm Kyle. If this is not your first time here, welcome back. I appreciate you guys for checking in. So we've been doing a lot of home workouts, especially gearing towards my beginners. But if you're not a beginner, don't worry, because we're gonna make it plenty challenging for you. Anyways, the whole playlist of all of those workouts, exercises, home stuff you can do is right here and we're gonna get into a little bit of arms a little bit of abs today getting you right into the weekend so we're going to do three Tabatas T-A-B-A-T-A -A -T -A. it's gonna be eight rounds of 20 seconds work 10 seconds rest and I have those air quotes around rest for a reason and you'll find out real soon so let's go over the first Tabata we're going to do either the push-up or the push press for that 20 seconds of work. Then we're either going to hold the bottom position of the push-up or overhead for that push press. So let's start with the push-up. I'm gonna come down to the ground, elbows stay tucked in, lower, raise in one piece. I'll be doing that for my 20 seconds of work. During the 10 seconds rest, I'm going to be down here just off the ground. So I'm not all the way flat, letting those elbows flare out just off the ground, staying active throughout. So the rest isn't really gonna feel like rest, hence the air quotes. Hopefully you guys are kind of getting it now. But if you have a pair of dumbbells or kettlebells, we can use it for the push press and we're gonna hang out overhead during that rest instead. So dumbbells come to the shoulder, push press, I dip, drive, press overhead. If I have really light dumbbells, I can not use my legs at all. But during that rest, I'm gonna stay overhead, belly's tight so I'm not poking my butt out and hurting my back, okay? That's our first Tabata. Either the push-up and holding the bottom, or the push press or strict press, holding the top during that rest. Tabata number two, we're going to do the side plank twist, and then you're gonna hold the starfish side plank during your rest. If you're like, I don't know what the hell this means, don't worry, because that side plank twist, we're gonna have everybody go from the forearm first. So nice and high with the hips, you're gonna twist under, come back through. So you do that for 20 seconds. Then during your rest, you're gonna go into that starfish plank, okay? Once you've done one side, flip over onto the other, so that way we're kind of getting little balance going on. Cool, that's Tabata two. Our third and final Tabata, we're going to do the inchworm. Normally we use this as a warm up movement, but today after doing some push press, some push ups, a little bit of plank action, arms might be feeling it a little more than normal. So inchworm, legs are gonna be as straight as I can. If I can't touch the ground, I can bend my knee a little bit and that'll help me walk those hands out as far as I can, and then I'll walk the hands back in. Okay, so I'll do that for 20 seconds. And then during that rest, I'm going to stay in that out position for that plank. Cool? So, hope you guys have fun, work hard, get sweaty, don't die. Like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend who needs it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, Sunday, for our at-home workout.